Hey guys, Blazing Wrath here, and today there are some small things that were announced regarding Halo Infinite. Nothing major exactly, just some new toys and maybe an email from 343 that could be a sign of things to come. So let's start off with the new Halo Infinite Mega Construct toys, with this package that seems to contain a bunch of random figures, and here are the figures that are contained within the package. So here's this pink Spartan with the JFO helmet from Reach. So I guess JFO is coming back, so that's pretty cool, I guess. Next we have this marine which looks awesome and more interestingly this marine is holding the Halo 4 slash 5 assault rifle which would look would looks like the Halo Reach uh, ammo counter on the top. Don't know what to make of this other than that maybe there'll be other weapon variants I guess. I don't think we'll be able to customize our weapons like Modern Warfare's gunsmith but I kinda do expect weapon variants like we got in Halo 5. Which isn't a terrible idea, but I just hope it's better executed uh, than Halo 5. Next we have this orange Spartan holding a gravity hammer. So it's no surprise that the gravity hammer is coming back considering we're fighting brutes again, and the gravity hammer is a brute made weapon. But this Spartan is wearing what looks like the Hermes helmet that's not from Halo 5, but from Halo Legends. The helmet that Kelly wears on blue team, so that's cool. Next we have this military green Spartan here, who looks very similar to Chi, but his helmet and shoulders are different. Those armor pieces are used by Fred, but once again, not from Halo 5, but from Halo Legends. The helmet is a dead giveaway, but his shoulders do have the knives that he used in the CG film. It's just that in the image they are painted green. Also this Spartan is holding the Bulldog. Now let's take a look at some banished enemies and one aircraft vehicle. So here's a Cyan Elite Ultra holding a plasma repeater from Reach. Now this isn't the first time we've seen the plasma repeater, as we've seen uh, this in the past screenshots, as well as the focus rifle and plasma launcher. Next we have a brute that's in camo with a hammer. May not seem much, but this should be pretty scary during gameplay. Then we have this weird UNSC aircraft vehicle, but I'm pretty sure this is the watch from Halo 5. Which again isn't the first time we've seen that, we saw that in the background of the Halo Infinite cover art. Then finally we have this grunt that looks heavily armored and seems to be carrying additional weapons on his back. I assume from a gameplay perspective brutes are going to be able to change weapons during a fight? That'd be pretty cool if that's the case. Also I'm pretty sure the weapons the grunt is carrying are called shock rifles. That's all of the toy announcements that we got from uh, Mega Contract so far. Now let's talk about E3. So E3 2021 is confirmed to be happening this year, but just like last year, it'll all, it will just be uh, an all-digital event, and Microsoft and Nintendo so far are confirmed to be there. E3 begins this year from June 12th to June 15th. This is important, obviously, not just for games, but of course particularly Halo. I have some speculation I may talk about in another video. Now let's talk about Halo Infinite's flighting program, that's potentially starting soon. The reason why I mention this is because some people in the community got this email that you'll see here. Now you can only get these types of emails if you're signed into the MCC Insider program. Now there's a lot more to this image, but the screenshot here is the real, uh, really the important bit, where it says here, Disclaimer, over the next three weeks you're going to be seeing an increased frequency of emails from us. Full disclosure, we're hard at work preparing a new email system for when Halo Infinite arrives, and this is part of the process. We're going to hold up our end of the bargain, of course, and we're doing our best to make these emails as useful as possible. Thank you for your time, and thank you for being a Halo Insider. Now, I'm assuming if you've been very active playing MCC, and you've been putting a lot of time playing, uh, putting a lot of playtime into the flighting test 343 has been putting out for the MCC, you might get this email. Now, I'm, I'm just assuming here, I'm not 100% sure on that. That's because in my case, while I'm still signed into the MCC Insider, I've actually opted out for both PC and Xbox. The only, the only thing I'm signed in for is for like info type of emails. Basically, I'm just waiting for Halo for the Halo Infinite to start, uh, the flighting program for Infinite to start. One more thing that I forgot to mention, and I'm going off script here, is that a uh, couple, not a couple, uh, like around April, around the beginning of April, Tashi from 343 did announce that they just locked a date for competitive Halo in terms of like Halo Esports for Halo Infinite in 2021 and of course it will be uh, operated by Esports Engine and they did say we'll hear more details about the event this summer so I guess you can assume more info at E3 okay hold on guys 
that was a lie. It turns out that was not the last thing. There's still a couple more details I forgot to mention that aren't important, but I'm gonna mention them anyways. So apparently a couple of actors, I, th I think they uh, both mocap voice actors, I don't know the exact details, but apparently uh, a new character, Spartan Griffin, who is voiced by shit, I don't even know, but him and Master Chief are working together or whatever, and apparently uh, Spartan Griffin, the actor, said that uh, the game will be released in November or something. There's also another character named Spartan Stone, and Spartan Griffin is the purple Spartan on the left, whereas Spartan Stone is the white Spartan on the right. But that's really it. Nothing important. So I guess we got two other confirmed characters within Halo Infinite, which we don't really know anything about other than they're both Spartans and we'll probably be interacting with them in the campaign. So, cool? So that's it for today guys. Like I said, nothing major, and I know I'm late on reporting on this. Really, I was just waiting a bit longer in case any more official info dropped. I'm also very aware that there are leaks and rumors going around recently, and I'm gonna and I'm not gonna waste your time on those, because I've seen them and to be honest, they just look straight up fake to me. I'll only report on leaks and rumors, anything regarding Infinite, if there is any validity to them. And uh, don't forget, we also have one more Infinite blog post update that we should get sometime in the month of May. After that, E3, where we will potentially see Halo Infinite multiplayer for the first time, and definitely a few new trailers as well. So if you enjoyed today's video, a like and a share would be very much appreciated. And until next time, peace.